Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, and today we're going to be looking at some of the LED uh, smart lights. It's a trend that's uh, been getting more popular in terms of use in furniture, behind TVs, um, under uh, cabinets and beds. And we'll take a look at what we're using here today, the Nexlux. Great product, and we'll show you how we do it. So here you can see we're in the garage. A little messy, but uh, I'm going to show you what we're doing here. Turn the lights off. And here we have um, the next Lux LEDs. You can see here we have it installed under the diamond plating. Hi guys, and welcome to my channel. I thank you all to those who are subscribed and supporting me and watching my videos. And to those who aren't subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button so you get all my updated videos that are uploaded each week. Today we are gonna be looking at the Nexlux Wi-Fi Wireless LED Smart Controller uh, LED lights. So we're gonna be working with a set up LED lights that have been used before. So essentially, there is no connection end on it and we're basically working with, with our four contacts here. So to go through a list of what we're gonna need for this, we're gonna need the Nexlux Wi-Fi wireless LED um, lights. This is a 32 foot uh, section I have, this does run on the uh, 12 volts so we'll go over everything but um, this is compatible uh, with Alexa Google Home if this then that um, works on Android iOS and it does have um, GRB BGR and RGB LED strip lighting again um, we're gonna go through if you have already uh, used your LED lights and you cut off a strip of it or you want to addend um, LED lights so to put on the back of a TV or to uh, have corners to it and still be able to put a power adapter onto it and again we'll be working with this with the four contacts showing so the basic uh, supplies that we're going to need for this is the Wi-Fi uh, adapter okay that's if you want to of course control it uh, wirelessly from your phone and again there is a phone app for the Android uh, and iOS systems and this is our Wi-Fi adapter here and you can see this is where our uh, power is going to go into and this is where the LED uh, lights are going to go into and we'll show you how basically this end is going to go into here. So with this Wi-Fi controller, you also have the remote control. Now, I don't use the remote control that often because I'm using the phone app, which is available on the um, Android uh, Play Marketplace, okay? Uh, known as Magic home okay so we have that out of the way the next thing you, you're gonna want to have um, of course if you are connecting a series of LED lights is the Nexlux LED 5050 RGB strip light connector 4 pin conductor 10 millimeter wide strip and this is a jumper for solderless clamps on pigtail adapter for the 5050 color changing flexible LED strip light. Um, so I did get these um, on Amazon where they're available. And this is very important because this is what's going to allow us to connect a power source. So this one came with five and a pack, okay? And you can see it has the end uh, which we're going to open up and this is going to connect to the uh, four contacts. All right, this will connect to the four contacts 
on the back here. All right, and the other end is going to connect to our Wi-Fi adapter, and you can see where it will go in. All right. So again, this is if you have leftover LED strip lighting and you need to add um, power to it and smart controller. Um, everything in, that you're going to need is going to be in my um, description, okay, the links for it and everything. Uh, these come in a four pack on Amazon and they're fairly cheap, okay. Um, the other uh, thing that you're going to need is the adapter and you can buy the adapter power adapter um, which is actually here and this is the 12 volt AC DC adapter okay which you can get on Amazon all right and again the links for that will be in my description let's first go over the first step here that we're going to be doing in order to connect our LED light to the power source. You're going to see a thin film of plastic on here and we are going to remove it. Uh, basically, I will use a razor here, all right, and you want to take off just so the connectors um, are showing, okay? And I'll do this on the table. Uh, you may want to do it on an area that um, your wife isn't going to get mad at you for you doing it on. Make a slight little slit there. And I can actually pry it off a little bit like that and expose this and show the actual connection areas. And I'll tear this off. So now I've exposed this, okay? Now, I want to take these adapters. So remember, these are the adapters with the power at one end, and the other end has the um, 10 millimeter four pin conductor. Okay? So, in the case of this, we're going to want to remove the 3M uh, sticky uh, tape, double sided tape from behind, and we are going to want to um, slip this in as such and push it in until it's underneath our metal connectors. So once we see that it's actually under the metal connectors here, we can go ahead and close this and tighten this. All right, and it appears tight. All right, now we have this. Okay, we're going to connect this to our Wi Fi device. Okay, as such, simply snaps in like that. And this we're going to plug into our 12 volt adapter here. So I'm going to plug this and just like this and this is the actual IR for the remote control. Okay. So right now, what you can see is the lights are on, all right, and this is the remote. And so with the remote, we can change, go ahead and change the colors to red, to green, to blue, all right, and so on and so forth. But you're not going to use this whole roll, roll for the back of the TV, for under the bed, or under uh, a section of cabinets. You're going to want to cut it into sections, and that's where it becomes important to be able to use these L-shaped um, adapters as well as the 6-inch 4-pin 10 millimeter wide conductor strip All right, to elongate it in certain sections. We will also get into how to connect your mobile phone. Um, to pick up this device. So we will grab our mobile phone now. And so I've already downloaded the uh, essential app that we need and that is the 
Magic Home. You can see I already have um, one device here and I have another device uh, inside the garage. I want to hit the plus here and add a device. It's going to pick up the LED Net A 12D81 which is this device. I will click on it. It's connecting to that device now. Alright, it's going to ask me what network I want to connect to. I'm going to select my network and I'm going to put my password in. So after I put my password in, it's going to connect to the device. And you can see the colors changing as we connect to the device. The Wi Fi is disconnected on my phone, it's connecting to the device. And the cool thing about this is you can, you know, add it and set it up in uh, Alexa uh, as well as uh, Google. Okay. Um, open my Wi-Fi. Can you say that again? And connecting to the device. All right, and we added it successfully, and we can give it its own name. I can say, so now Amazon Alexa already picked it up. A new um, light named LED control was added. So we can keep it as this just for purposes of identifying it, or we can change it to, since I'm in the kitchen, I'll type kitchen. And I'll hit done. So now you see the kitchen um, shows up. All right, I can go ahead, and I can select the different colors to change it to, and so on. Um, you could also change the brightness of it by here, all right, and so on. There's a whole lot of other settings you can uh, control in here, but right now, let's just focus on connecting it, all right. So now, if I go to my uh, Alexa and my uh, Amazon here, it did uh, pick it up as a new device, so I can control it. Please go to your Amazon Music settings on so, the web. As you can see, it automatically picked up this device. So now I can create routines, I can um, control it, and so on and so forth, as you can see. I can change the brightness, change the color, I can turn it off, I can turn it on, and so on. So it's pretty smart, works very well, no issues, and I have it installed on several TVs behind it, and as well as... Um, on a shelf okay I also have it set up with if this then that which you can check out um, but so far it's working great and you can uh, also use it through uh, Google so check that out um, but this was predominantly uh, meant to show you how to connect um, you know already um, used uh, ends of the next Lux LED lights uh, to each other to elongate it and so on. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you and uh, I will list the products that you need to buy in order to uh, give power to an existing LED strip light. Please subscribe, please like, and please share.